So once you've ran cleaner through the lines, it's a really good idea, certainly every second time you clean, just to dismantle the tap and also the tapping head to give them a clean and a bit of lubrication. Um, just ensure so the system is running good, you don't have any leaks and you're not going to have a dripping tap or anything like these. So the most popular tap out there are these, they're a Sealy, an Italian based tap, actually very good quality, they, give, they don't give that much trouble at all and they're easy to look after. So once you've ran your cleaner through, you've ran your water, your rinse water through the system, um, you can take apart, turn off your gas, decouple the um, tapping head from your wash bottle and we can go and uh, I'll show you how to take this apart and what to look for. So obviously just make sure there's no pressure in it, for the tap down there isn't. So what we do is we'll unscrew this. Okay, so you see two O-rings in there, and if you have a dripping tap, so that's the right way up, if you have a dripping tap, then this O-ring is nicked or there's something leaking on it, um, but they're, they're so cheap. Get onto whoever supplied you the equipment, or if it's generic, just get onto maybe uh, MLH Holdings or BTI Engineering or those guys, we use, we use both of them, um, they're commercial outfits. They, they know what they're doing, they're very reasonably priced and stuff. So you can, we obviously have our own uh, pewter cast handles on this, we're Nine White Deer Brewery, so it's part of what we are. So we take uh, take out your screw there, we separate this, and this bit then can go in a, a small bucket with some cleaner in it. So get your bucket, have some cleaner that you've used for cleaning the lines, and just make up a small um, maybe one litre of it or something. So I just have it there, ready to put your bits into. So uh, take that screw out, take that apart and pop this into, into the cleaning bucket as well. So this is a stout tap, so it's going to be a disc and an o-ring in there. So I'm not sure if you can see, there's the camera. Out there a little disc. So you want to take that out, push it from the far end. So there's three parts to this. We have the disc, which you can see there. So make sure there's none of them are blocked. We have a little o-ring and then the first bit to go in and it goes in this way is uh, that just turns the flow back into uh, some bit of laminar flow and it also holds the disc in place so take them off put them in the bucket leave, give them a bit of a clean and then We take, this is the shank and this is the tap, easy to separate, there's another o-ring there and so you can run a, a small round nylon brush up through there, put that into a cleaning solution as well and it just gets all the nooks and crannies um, and make sure it's clean. So once you've left it in there maybe 5-10 minutes, give everything a rinse, really good rinse with cold water. Um, Get all the cleaning solution off it. There's a little o-ring on here so all these we want to add a small bit of lubricant so this is uh, just a pack we use it's a food grade silicon grease really important that it's food grade grease um, automotive or it'll be grand or anything like that it, it won't be grand so you need to use a uh, really important uh, a food grade silicon based grease so it just means it's a waterproof grease it's not going to get dissolved and you just need tiny amounts I don't know if you can even see how much how little is on my finger there 
So rub between your two fingers. We're going to put a small amount on that O-ring. We're going to put a small amount on these two O-rings. That's it. So we're going to put the, the tap back on the shank. Make sure it's vertically straight. So you need needs to be lined up. As you can see the O-ring is square. That's it. That doesn't. It shouldn't need to be mad tight. Um, and then there's a little uh, a pin inside there which dictates the orientation of it. There's a slot in here which that pin goes down into. So push down like that, you'll feel it. That's it there. Screw down to lock it on. That's that. We put our nozzle, our stout nozzle back together. So I put in there our little uh, plastic holder into it. I've showed you what way that goes. In goes the disc next. Make sure the disc is sitting flat. You can use uh, just something small to poke it to get it to sit flat if you need. The O-ring goes in then and the O-ring must be pushed down on the disc like that. Just make sure it's pushed down all the way around and then screwed up into it. So there's actually a hole in these that you can get a C spanner to tighten up or you can use you could use a pump spanner or something um, but it doesn't need much really. Once they're hand, hand tight it should be enough. So that's it, that's your tap back together and clean. Your tapping head. So here's your tapping head, these John Guess fittings all push out, real easy. Should do. gas one off, that's the beer side off. There's two non-return valves in here so you just want beer coming out up here you do not want uh, beer to be coming back down in here and gas can only go in that direction you don't want anything coming back in that way so if you're missing the non-return valves there's a chance that you can put beer all the way up into your regulator and that's not good. So screw off your John Guest fittings there's your little non-return valve just a silicon uh, fitting that just collapses and closes in if it was trying to go the wrong way so that's it that's the way it goes now put these back into a bucket of cleaner same with the the beer outlet so the non-return valve in here is a bit different really it's just a floating um, piece of plastic that comes down against a, a, a surface in the bottom, a valve, and just stops it, stops it going through. So to disconnect these, either there's a screw or a clip, just take it off. That comes off. Your handle, don't put your handle in caustic, there's some brass pieces in there, um, and that would only react with the, the cleaner take this out so again you have two o-rings inside here and one uh, rubber seal on the bottom so put them all into your solution to clean uh, everything in your bucket give it five ten minutes inside the solution rinse it really well with clean water and go to rebuild it so again for your food grade silicon on these two o-rings that are inside the tapping head so I'll just show you how much to put on it's only a tiny amount really really small so I don't know if you can see there's just a tiny bit on one finger rub it between two and just give them a small bit of a coating and all that means is the, the stainless steel uh, inners can slide easily and form a proper seal and isn't going to start causing you leaks. So to put together, push in, 
make sure the two flats are in line so the handle can go on so handle it that way push through put in the retainer clip and if you've ran a couple of cakes through where it's been a long time you are going to get bits of uh, protein and stuff binned up in here um, that's normal your John gets fitting back on you shouldn't need to use spanners for these really hand tight should be enough um, very occasionally if the surface has got a bit rough for whatever reason then a very small nip of a pump spanner or something is in something like that voice grip is probably a bit um, agricultural put in your gas non-return valve so goes in there. Find your John Guest coupler into your gas side. And reconnect. So I just know by the shape of these, sometimes they're different colours, colour coded. This is the gas side, and you can see there's a small kink in that line. If that was beer going through that, that would definitely need to be cut back. Um, even a small kink like that going to create major foaming problems for you but on gas it doesn't happen as long as it's not, not doubled over connect up your beer side again make sure it's pushed all the way home and that's it just to test the system so when it's like this gas will flow through when it's like that it should not so I know you can hear it in the background there when it's being tank. It means that you're getting a good feel um, and you're not going to be it. Turn off the gas again, release the pressure. Okay, you're ready to go again. So, that's a quick uh, assembly and disassembly of the steely tap um, and tapping head. We do our lines every 23 days um, and about every other time we take the tap and tap and the tapping head uh, to the machine. Um, it kind of depends if you want to slow, then you put it through, but also the temperature, if the lines are warm, then leaves and bacteria and stuff are going to grow faster. So, like, it's so cheap to do, like, uh, 5 litres of chemical is between 11 and 15 euro, and it will last a long time for people to be able to keep home. So, that's it, hope that's good to help you. Talk to you next time. Bye.